Hi guys, welcome to another video on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you some more advanced features in Filmora 12.5, which was released a couple days ago. Okay, so I will also show you how to upgrade to this latest version inside the software. All right, so let's go to my computer screen. By the way, I have another video talking about Filmora 12.5, new feature, but that is just a test version and now it is the official version, okay? So if you want to watch that video, I will put it right here, right here, or down in the description. All right, so let's go to my computer screen. Okay, so the first thing, you want to upgrade to this latest version, you have to open the software and then you want to go to have and then you want to click here check for update right inside the software okay okay so this is the new version Fimura 12.5.4 release and experience optimization and fix some bugs and if you want to go to this version you want to click here install okay so I'm going to install the software now just click here and I don't want to save the project okay and if you trying to download the package from their website it is still Filmora 12.4.7 and i have no idea why they have not uploaded the package onto their website okay so just go to the software and update inside the software okay and wait a few seconds okay so while waiting for the installation i just want to let you know that if you want to purchase a single license of filmora 12 yearly plan or perpetual plan i will have 20 percent discount code quote i will put in the description for you just just check it out okay you can save your money with my discount coupon code all right so the installation is finished and now we have filmora 12.5.4 it is running now okay so let's open the project first Okay, so just a quick recap of my previous video about the change in Filmora 12.5. So first thing, they have some more VFX text, uh, which is in the title tab. Just go to the title and then you want to select VFX text right here. So there are some VFX title they added to the program. Okay, and they are paid and free title here. By the way, you want to select free only okay and we have this option for example the live flash all you need to do is to right and drop it onto the timeline so this is a flash title template it is very simple right you can replace the flash text here with your channel name like yeah let's say jackie win okay and reduce the size to 120 or 100 okay and I can move it to here so this is the first thing about the VVX title and the next thing is about audio driven effect so it is in the effect tab right here you want to select the effect tab and then you want to select audio effect okay and we have audio driven effect here they have more than 10 2 4 6 8 10 okay so 10 audio driven effect and some of them are paid and you want to select free only and then you want to drag and drop it right here on the timeline and if you have audio here it will just check to the music for example we can put a music file onto the timeline okay just go to my media yeah let's go to my media and then i'm going to find music file uh okay wait a second okay music blue rim so when i put it right here and with the audio ribbon effect here it will be something like this uh, let's put a video onto the timeline okay so this is on the timeline and keep the project setting so this is the audio ribbon effect okay so audio ribbon glitch number one and if you want to control the effect, you want to just double click at the effect right here and adjust the base threshold of loudness and trap threshold of loudness. Okay, play. Okay, so that is about the audio driven effect. And the other thing is about the audio stretch tool. We use an AI tools in Filmora 12. They just put it on top of the timeline instead of put it here in this button. If you want to use the audio strato, you have to click here and then 
click the audio straddle but now it is outside upside of this box so it is on top of the timeline now you want to straight out your audio or your music file stuff like that you want to click here and this audio straight to for example if i want to extend the duration of this music file all i need to do is to click here and then i can just move my mouse to here and then extend it extend the duration of the music file okay something like this and the AI will work on your music file and extend it okay okay so here is the extended music file and if you want to go back to normal selection tool you want to press V on your keyboard or you can just click here at the audio straight tool okay so this is the music okay so that is the recap of my previous video by the way when they release the official version there are some more advanced feature like the ability to copy the keyframe and also some cool animation of the text okay so let me show you all these things okay so first up we want to delete everything on the timeline okay so first up we want to talk about the ability to copy the keyframe for example i have a video here just put it here on the timeline okay and now i can add keyframe to this video right for example i want to scale it down I can just click here to add a keyframe and then I want to move some frame forward and then I can scale it down okay something like this and this is the animation the scale down animation nice right and now if I want to apply the same keyframe I can just click here and then I can just put another video here and now I can copy the keyframe of this clip for example, I can double click at the clip here, okay, to show the keyframe and then I can just select it and then I can press and hold my control key on my keyboard to select multiple keyframe and then I can right click, select copy keyframe and then I can copy the keyframe to this clip for example, okay, so this is a normal clip and I want to apply the same scale down for this clip also, I can just put it right here and then right click and select paste keyframe okay so now we have two keyframe here and let's play the video so the keyframe from this position has been copied to this position so this is a very interesting feature in Fimura 12.5 okay so that is the first thing and the other thing is about the text animation which is very interesting too okay so let's delete everything we want to go back to the title for example we can select a title a plain text right here and i'm going to select this one and then i can just double click at the title i can change it to my name for example my channel for example okay and then i can say jackie yeah my name and then i can select another font a big one and also increase the size to 150 50 okay and then i can click ok to go back to the timeline by the way if you want to see the new animation you want to select the animation tab right here okay and then you want to select loop okay so in the loop tab Fimura add a bunch of different animation for your text normally it would be just something like this 10 or 12 animation for the loop but now they got many more okay so if you want to use any animation you just want to double click to download it for example i'm going to download this one the blue water fill blue wave fill okay just double click to download the loop animation very interesting like the water just fill up the text right here okay and you can adjust the the loop speed right here okay shorten or extend the duration it's nice right and let's double check this one bubble okay just double click to review it download and review it and there are many more for example we have a neon text right here we can just double click to download it and apply it to our text new text okay so it's interesting and the rgb just double click here to download and review it
Okay, so it is too slow. I can increase the speed. What is one? Very nice, right? By the way, that is for the loop animation. And you can also add in and out for your text also. You go to in and then you want to, yeah. I want to add this one, typewriter. Okay, and I can add another out animation. So fade, number one. And let's click OK. So this is the animation for the text in, out, and loop. Okay. Okay. All right. So that's everything about Filmora 12.5. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you have any questions, just let me know at the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Filmora tips and tricks. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.